Water is leaking out of an inverted conic tank at a rate of 8,200 cubic centimeters per minute at the same time that water is being pumped into the tank at a constant rate. The tank has a height of 13 meters and the diameter at the top is 4 meters. If the water level is rising at a rate of 24 centimeters per minute when the height of the water is 1.5 meters, find the rate at which water is being pumped into the tank in cubic centimeters per minute. So there are several things to recognize about this problem. First, notice how the rate at which the water is leaking is given in cubic centimeters per minute, and then we have lengths given in meters. We will have to convert the meters to centimeters in order to have common units. Also, since water is leaking at the same time water is being pumped out, dv dt, the change in the volume with respect to time, is equal to dv dt in plus dv dt out. And because we're dealing with a conic tank, we'll be using the volume formula v equals one-third pi r squared h. Let's begin by listing all the given information. Because the water is leaking at a rate of 8,200 cubic centimeters per minute, dv dt out is equal to negative 8,200 cubic centimeters per minute. The tank height is 13 meters, and therefore h sub tank is equal to 13 meters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. The tank height is 1,300 centimeters, which I've also labeled on the diagram on the left. The diameter of the tank is four meters, and therefore the radius is two meters. R sub tank is equal to two meters, which is equal to 200 centimeters, also labeled on the tank. The water level is rising at a rate of 24 centimeters per minute. DHDT of the water is equal to 24 centimeters per minute. We're concerned when the height of the water is 1.5 meters, and therefore H sub water is equal to 1.5 meters, which is equal to 150 centimeters. And then finally, we're asked to find the rate at which the water is being pumped into the tank, which means we're trying to find dv dt in. First thing we'll do is use similar right triangles to form an equation that relates r and h of the water level. So for example, if the water level is, let's say here, and we slice the tank vertically, there's a right triangle formed by the tank here, and then a smaller right triangle formed from the water level which would be down here at the bottom, which I've enlarged here on the right. So this little right triangle here at the bottom formed by the water level is this right triangle here on the right. We know the tank height is 1,300 centimeters. We know the radius is 200 centimeters. And then for the water level, we know the height is 150 centimeters and we don't know the radius r. But because, but because, but because corresponding sides are proportional to similar right triangles, we can write a proportion and then solve for r or h. We can say r is to 200 as h is to 1,300. And now we can cross multiply. r times 1,300 must equal 200 times h. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 1,300. Simplifying, we have r is equal to 2 thirteenths h. Also notice how we could multiply both sides of the equation by 13 halves and write the equation as h equals 13 halves r. Now looking at these two equations on the bottom, we can use either one to perform a substitution for r or h in the volume formula. Let's make a substitution for h. Let's replace h with 13 halves r, which gives us the volume v is equal to 1 -third pi r squared times 13 halves r. Let's go ahead and simplify. 1 third times 13 halves is 13 six, which gives us the volume v is equal to 13 six pi r cubed. And now from here, we will differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t, which gives us dv dt is equal to, here we multiply by three, which gives us 39 six which does simplify, but we'll leave it as 39 six, pi r squared times dr dt. 39 and six do have a common factor of three. This simplifies to 13 halves. And let's also make the substitution for dv dt, where dv dt is equal to dv dt in plus dv dt out. Remember, we're trying to find dv dt in 
which means you still have to find r in dr dt, where r is from the water height. To do this, we'll be using the equation r equals 2 thirteenths h. Remember, we know the water height is 150 centimeters, and therefore r is equal to 2 thirteenths times 150, which is equal to 300 thirteenths. We can also find dr dt by differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to t. dr dt is equal to 2 thirteenths times dh dt, and we know dh dt, it was given as 24 centimeters. So dr dt is equal to 2 thirteenths times 24, which is equal to 48 thirteenths. So now we have all the information we need to find dv dt in. We have dv dt in, dv dt out is negative 8,200, which gives us minus 8,200 equals 13 halves pi, r squared is a square of 300 thirteenths, and dr dt is 48 thirteenths. Let's go ahead and add 8,200 to both sides of the equation, which gives us dv dt in is equal to 8,200 plus 13 halves pi times the square of 300 thirteenths times 48 thirteenths. So let's go ahead and finish on the next slide. To the tenths place value, we have 48,352.9. which means water is being pumped into the tank at a rate of approximately 48,352.9 cubic centimeters per minute. I hope you found this helpful.